Hello everybody, this is Artie Mays and this is going to be my second series I'm doing and what I'm going to do this time is I'm working from my sewing kit but my digital kit and I thought it would be nice to run through how I put things together and what I do with it really and try and come up with some different things to do with the kit as we go along you know again I have no plan it's all it, it just falls seems to fall into place and some work some things work and some don't but I've already um, printed it out and I do print out more than one one kit I usually print it a couple of times and I sometimes I even shrink down the pages which I haven't done yet but I will do some some I have but not the actual journal page journal pages and I've because I've got a laser printer I have a desk jet as well inkjet rather and yes you have to be careful tea staining but I still do but this one has been printed on my laser so I can dunk away and I've literally just printed out a load of pages I actually had one set printed that I didn't really realize I'd already done so lucky really so and then I'll do some envelope envelopes and I will shrink that some envelopes down I will print instead of printing one page I will go into my settings and I will do two pages to one page so it will become half the size of this which is great which I've got to do yet but like I said, I've just done this one and just printed some of these where these are separate because I don't need them yet. And I'll just keep the journal pages and then I'll go through, um, I'm, I'll do two signatures on this one, I think. And I'm not sure, I think it might be a hardback one. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I just, it flows. So I will select the pages I want and get all the other bits and pieces together and then I will come back and show you what I've printed out differently because these are all been you know I actually print out some back to back as well which I think they're at the bottom somewhere I mean there's two lots of each each one here so I really like this kit too and I need to do another sewing one so I think at the back there's some that's doubled up. Yeah. Like I say, I've just done a few pages that are back to back as well. There's a double lined one there. A double line one there, which I will use some of those. And that could be the cover. That's the pockets, which don't normally need to coffee stain them, but they've been done. <laughs> And then yeah, those ones haven't been done yet. Right, so that's that. Then I um, found a few tags. Those aren't from here. That's the pockets again. So these are all haven't been tea stained yet. And again, I will shrink these down as well. And those. And they make nice little tickets. So I've pinned four to a page for that. Yeah, so they would go in each, each four would go, yeah, so I'd get four, eight, ten, um, four, eight, ten, <laughs> four, eight, twelve, sixteen. These, but a lot smaller. Perfect. And they're quite good to put round for decoration and things. Envelopes, you can shrink them down, four to a page, so you've got little envelopes. It's all double lined here. And there's some, right. So they're two to a page those and that's how it is how much smaller they are when it's four to a page so these can all be used for embellishments and things like that where they're perfect so that's those ones that should be that way sorry yeah so that's how I get started there's a lot here because there's, and I think that, like I said, there's double amount. So you do not have to go to that expense. I mean, I'm okay because even with my inkjet, I'm only paying $7.99 a month and I get, I can print 500. Um, my laser, I'm not joking, I've had one set of toners and I've had it 
18 months now and I only get the um, compatible toners as well. It cost me £70 for four toners and they print like four to six thousand pages each toner. So, you know, do your maths. And the machine, the actual printer itself was under 300, I think it was 250. But again, like I said, I've saved, saved so much money. I can just print and print and print. Like with my printer upstairs, I print and, and that one I print and it's fine. But like I said, I've got loads and loads of surplus to my requirements. So I've had a word with my daughter and who's uh, 15 and she fancies opening a little Etsy shop. So I did say that she could have all my surplus and maybe do a few printables out, printables up for you that you can buy. And of course it'll be quite reasonable because it's surplus to me. You know, there's only so many journals I can make and some of them will be tea stained and some might not, you know. But I thought, well, if she wants to do that, and it's something for her to do through the holidays, you know, to keep her active. And think, you know, because she does need to earn a little bit of money. Because they, at that age, they like to spend bits. So I thought, no, I'll get her working. <laughs> and she can open a little shop alongside mine, apparently. I've, I've looked into it. So, of course, I'll be managing her. So, and I think she said about calling it Artie Mays Junior. Yes, very original, but that's okay. <laughs> so watch this space for that one. I'll let you all know when she's opened it because there'll be some bargains to have, have there because I do want to get rid of a lot of things that I don't actually use anymore. So again, thank you very much for your support and I hope you enjoy this series. Bye for now. Then I've sorted out some papers and um, put a few together. Um, I've, I've decided I was going to do a, um, a hardback cover but I'm not now because I actually feel like I want to do a fabric cover because it's to do with sewing so I'm going to do either one signature or two again I'm not sure I'll just see how this sort of gut develops really this is I never have a plan never so if you want something if you want somebody that has a plan and everything's worked out then don't watch me because I do tend to go all over the place but that's the way I work and that's the way I enjoy working so because I find all this process the fun part so except choosing the pages that's one of my pet hates once they're done I feel so much better and then I can get on with decorating um, I'm not going to sew these in before I do the pages because I want to do some sewing and all that sort of thing because I love sewing and it's a sewing journal and I want to add some flip outs, you know, that are stitched in. But I will give alternatives, you know, so if, if you don't stitch them in, I will show you how you glue them in for people that don't like the sewing part. So this is what I've come up with so far. So I've only got 10 pages here. Um, if I have one signature, I'll put another five in. But if I have two signatures, I will most probably stay to around the 10 or 11. So I've got a sort of, this is quite thick paper for these because I like that first one on the thicker side because it tends to hold everything in. So, and now there, and I've found a little envelope, I've just folded up. So that can go there and then you've got some graph paper which is you know sewing sort of you could draw patterns on there this paper I'm going to use because it came from Rita Donnelly and it's very special so she sent it to me all the way from America so I'm going to put that in there and then I'm incorporated I haven't trimmed anything yet so you know this has all got to be trimmed up those are some, are some lime paper like that some more line paper which needs straightening up by the look of it and there and then the little little envelope here so I'm going to do some more envelopes that will most probably go in I'll show you how to sew them up or glue them these that's going to be a flip out but this one that I'm going to cut off so what I've done I just needed to see where I wanted it cut off so that will be cut off here 
all right so we've got a little bit of you know different different going on there so it'll be like that and then the middle I'm not sure whether I'm going to do big double pocket which I'll make that or an envelope so I've left that plain for now okay but that's 10 10 pieces of paper so and then with the envelope that'll be another one wouldn't it so that'll be 11 so I'll do two signatures like this and then I will trim them down and then I'll get back to you well, I've cut them all down and I've got two signatures here so yes I've got get the right size I've got a bit of a white line here but I'll show you how to get rid of that because I'll put lace on one side and then I'll most probably ink up the edges around here I, I really don't, I don't worry about it and if it still doesn't look okay then I'll distress the edges you know that's just the way it is it's happened and I'll just show you ways to get around it so if that happens to you then by the end of this video you'll know how to get rid of it which actually I'll show you now all I do is I think we need vintage photo for that one so I mean I put I'm gonna put lace on the front anyway but I know that it has to be vintage photo because that's quite dark so there we go that's all you have to do and I would go through now like this one here let's get rid of that okay that's that one done a little bit in that corner there like there and that's it that one done that's how quick it is and I think I'll get rid of that white bit at the top there this doesn't really show but the top does you see there we go oh, there we go I'm back there You don't have to have um, distress ink, any sort of brownish ink, although, you know, the ones that you have. As long as it's not um, one that you need embossing powder over the top of, because um, you'll find that it doesn't dry. <laughs> yes, I've used it. So I've just grabbed it. I mean, I could have made it slightly smaller, but I didn't want to. <laughs> so that's my way of getting around it. There you go. That's that. So I don't know whether I've showed you this now. I can't remember. Uh, this is, you know, this is subject to change totally. But that's the main thing going on. I don't know. Top. That's just an envelope. Nothing's been sewn on that yet, or it's not even been done up. Okay, that's all I've done is cut the top to remind me that I want a top tuck there, or a top pocket. And I want that one down here. So they can, if I put a big tag in, it can come up here. That's that. Some line paper there. And then this one has this in the middle, because I'm not sure what's going in the middle there now. I quite like that. I might just do, I don't know, some um, string, some um, like a sewing machine on the end of it or something like that. Not too bulky because um, I might have it so that it comes out here. Otherwise, it can tear your pages if you're not careful. Like this one needs to do it. Because some of my printouts on the uh, machine, on the printer, doesn't always print straight for some reason. So, I checked, 
I have checked that it's straight, just to make sure. Yep. That's fine. He wouldn't know now. Okay, that's that one done. And then I'll do the same to this. Just so that it stops to grunge it up a bit. And this is this one. And I'll just stop that down there to make that a little bit thicker. Okay, and I haven't got anything for the middle of this one yet, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Yeah, I'm going to add a couple of pages most probably. How many have I got in that one? One, two, three, four. Well, I won't count the pockets actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I do need a couple more in there. No problem. What have I got in here? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've both got eight in those, all right? So I definitely will add another couple of couple of pages to make that ten. And then with the, the tuck spots here, you know, this um, these ones, the envelopes and things, they they add bulk, so that would be plenty. Okay. Which I'll go and do that now and then I'll show you where I've added them. Right, I'll show you what I've um, put in there because I printed on some vellum um, somewhere. I put it somewhere. I haven't still done the middle yet because I don't know. Oh, I added a little flip out page there, printed on some vellum, and then add another coffee stain page. So this should be about 11 in here because I'm still going to put something in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then something in the middle because I might on some of these I could have add a double tag pocket, which again it, and you know it does bulk it all out. So this is basically the bare bones, and that is it. So what I suggest, um, what I do now, or what I suggest for anybody that's sort of following along, is go and cut out some pieces that you say you want to sew in. Example, the belly bands, you might want to sew them in. Um, oh, these are on Junk Journal Junkies as a free download. And they will be available on my website as soon as I've uploaded them or fathomed out how to do freebies. I've got my, some of my digi kits on there now, but I haven't fathomed, fathomed out how to put freebies on, which I want to do. So that, hopefully I'll sort that out this week. And some pockets. These all want, all been printed on paper, so they will need backing. I have t um, printed a few tags, that was another one of those. I have tutorials earlier on on decorating these so you know I'll link I'll link the video rather than show you again oh and I've um, also printed some some pockets and uh, printed cut out some pockets ready but that's what you need to do is just go and literally go and print out things that you're going to sew in because that's what we need to do next all the sewing and stuff because you know my other journal yes I started as a blank journal and it was already made in in the signature this these ones I don't do like that and I I'm not even going to make the cover first because what happens to me while I'm making a journal is the cover sort of evolves on what I do here and it will then tell me if I want you know um, a hardback journal or a soft cover or things like you know things like that and I actually like to think about it while I'm working and and things come to me because I'm getting in the sewing theme whereas I can't think right I'm going to do that cover and everything goes in I can with a blank journal but not with one of my digi kits I have to, the the cover comes after sorry about waffling that was just trying to explain my process which yeah my thought process 
So there's some more pockets here. I mean, like I say, I've printed out double, so I will go and cut some of those out now. And oh, I also had, I'm not sure whether that's on in the add-on or a freebie, I can't remember. But I just stuck two pages back to back because I'm gonna do show you how to do, you know, flip out tag with that. So that's fine. Whereas flip out flip over tags are in my in some of my kits but it's not in this one so i'm just literally putting that back to back and then we'll make one from that later on right let's get cutting then okay right i've cut a few things out that i think might be worth sewing in and you know these ones i've done it i think i made it so that it's okay to punch with the one inch punch just slightly out there so you don't see any of the line i think i sort of when i designed them i've sort of done a one inch circle there so we could um i could do that because i do like it quite neat right so that's that so they're all sort of ready really i'm going to stitch around them and all that sort of thing and i was going to i've nearly forgot to video this piece of paper that i talked about earlier so all i done was i cut um, I decided that I wanted them about four and a half, so I cut it, well, nine, just over, four and three quarters it was, so it was nine and a half by three, and I think that makes quite a nice flip in the journal. Yeah, that's about right. So that's all I do there, and then, don't, you know, save these bits because they can become belly bands or tuck spots or different things or even the little pocket so don't worry about that because I can stain that up that's no problem like that and then if I do I put them together get my trusty old credit card and cut them all together I used to do them all together. There we go. And then, because they wouldn't glue down properly, I will go. Well, I, it wasn't meant to be glued down. I will go and stitch around them, which I normally do anyway. So, yeah, oh, they're not too bad. But I'm going to stitch around them anyway. And let's get rid of that white line, which again, is exactly the same procedure as I showed you on the actual paper. Right, there we go. Right, so I'm going to stitch around that. And I'll just dry that off a little bit first though. Okay, these have all been sewn round. Okay, these will go in here somewhere. I'll just show you where I think. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure exactly where yet. I'm not sure how long they are. Let's have a look. Um, that's quite nice there. So just for an extra flip, you know, we can put that there. Yeah. And then that flips out. Yep, yeah, I like that in that one. So that's that. I think that one's going to go there. It's longer than that though, isn't it? Okay. No plain piece really. It's vellum there. We can't have it there. It might fit over that. No, don't like that, see? It's hanging over the edge. Let's have a look here. Need something there. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's that bit done. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go and get some card and some tissue paper and I'll just show you what I do. Right then, so I've just got a piece of coffee stain paper and I am going to just decoupage some tissue paper over it. 
That's all I do. <clears throat> so let's get do that. This is just normal copy, but it's a little bit heavier weight, actually. I would say it's about, well, it's 100 GCS, um, GCSM, GSM. <laughs> and because I do sometimes use thicker. So it's not the actual copy of paper. It's a little bit better than that. Nice. Again, watered down mixture, as you know what I use for this sort of thing. Uh, two to one, two parts glue, one part, uh, yeah, two parts glue, one part water. And then just randomly stick these on. And this gives the paper a bit of strength as well. I want to keep things quite light because the kit itself is on the grungier side so the things I add to it I don't want to become too too dark totally random let's put that there That's, that's all done, all stuck down. I don't mind it going over and over each other. Okay, so the best thing now to do is just dry it off because I'm, you know, to get it done. Right, that's all dry. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about trimming it. I'll just trim that big bit off there because we're trimming it down anyway, so I won't need any of those edges. Okay. So all we've got to do now is fold it over and cut the right size out, which is, if I remember rightly, three by nine something, three, I might do it a little bit smaller actually, um, nine and a half, I might do it at nine, okay, right, let's get the trimmer, so I'll fold it over first actually. Just fold it over like we've did, done the other one. So I hope my head's not in the way there. Come on, stick straight. Ish. Didn't want to move. Let's crease that down a bit better. Now we can do it by three. <laughs> Let's cut that edge, aren't I? I would keep those because they can be used as little page tabs or something. Or top of tags, anything like that. And we're going to do by nine, wasn't it? Keep that. Little booklet. Cover for a booklet. Okay, and fold in half again. Trust the old credit card. Okay, 
Right, here you have your tag. Oh, it's still a bit damp there, so I'll just dry that a minute. Again, if it's a little bit rough in places, sandpaper out, just sand it lightly. I'm going to sew round. It's quite thick now, actually. And that's yeah. I'm going to um, sew round mine. So again, you can do this sort of thing to make you know your normal tags to go in your journals. I mean, imagine if that was a tag, you know, say a bit bigger. How nice that would be, you know, in a journal. So it's good. So I might make a little booklet out of this one, actually be honest or put this one in my journal and make a booklet out of the other one yeah I'll see because I think that will make a nice little booklet and then that could sit in so anyway we'll just do what I normally do first so I glue if you're um, not sewing then glue the whole thing down but I'm only gonna glue the middle there and then I'm gonna sew around it trim off the edge there So I'm just going to go and sew that a minute. All sewn up. Right, now I'll we'll just ink the edges a bit with tea stain. Because again, we're trying to work on not too dark for this one. Just burnish that a little. If you're putting it in the book, that needs to be quite flat. So make sure it's all leveled up. So um, okay, and there you have it. And like I say, I'm going to make a booklet out of this one. So, but that would sit in nicely in your pages. I'm going to make a booklet out of that one. So I'll put that one back in there because I might forget it. Put that on. Okay, so we've got two little booklets to make out of what's left. Well, that, that's left over. I've got some little pieces of paper here. Um, yeah, so just trim that down. That can go in, in there and that can be my little booklet in there. A few more maybe. And we're going to make one out of here. So I'll just go and get some paper. Okay, got a few bits of paper and just cut it to size. And then I'm going to use the same credit card as we used on the other one. Hopefully that'll fit. That's a lot. Never checked actually. I think that should do once the edges are cut off. I'll check. And if not, if I don't want that. I'll just trim it down a bit actually to below that there so it's about that much thinking about it I'll just cut that off there okay okay not a smaller one really That's fine, just got a little bit of hangover here for some reason. There we go. Okay, 
then that can sit inside there right if you're not going to sew it I would I would pamphlet stitch this but I'm going to just machine sew mine down the middle so I'm gonna open it out like that and then I'm going to machine sew it down the middle make sure it's all square when I'm in the machine but just like that and then this can be a little bit clip right just go and do that oh actually before I do that I might as well do two together so this was the other one so I think I ran the corners on that Okay, so that's all done, and I'm just going to ink up the edges. So that's my little booklet's done, just stitched at the top there. So we've got a few pages in here, which I need to just round the corners of that one. That's there, and then this is a little, this little booklet made out of that tag there. Okay, I might actually put some um, Mod Podge so <laughs> on, on the cover, all right, because I do like the feel of Mod Podge. So but if you don't, then leave it as is, but I am I am going to. And I'm going to dull down all these threads, but I'm going to leave it. It went a bit wrong there, but I like it. It's good. Looks old now. Let's age those bits there and inside okay and then this one because we didn't do anything to this did we so little pockets and a little tag book here so we can do that up with some thread I'm not going to put that oh actually I'll do it first and then put the whole reinforcers on oh, I don't seem very organized today at all what's happened to those but they'll do this is, um, this is a Monday that's why I'm not very good on Mondays <laughs> I don't think anybody else is either mind I'm not alone there Now I'm just going to mob podge. Okay. Staining that up a bit. Now. Yep. That's good. So that's two little booklets made. Mob podge, here we come. I'm not going to find it. Oh, actually, I've got a bit of acetate here. Oops, 
<laughs> when I spill too much, I put it in my little pot. <laughs> and then I water it down. I don't think I'll need that much. Right, and leave those to dry. Scrape that up and put it in my little pot. Right, on to the next thing then. I think that will be um, enough for part one today, actually. And I'll start wor working on part two a bit later this afternoon. So I shall upload this one first. So welcome to the new series. And I hope it hasn't been too laborious for you. Um, and I shall speak to you very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>